Hey everyone, it's me RGB guy and welcome back to my anti-aliasing series. Today we are going to learn about super sample anti-aliasing. What is super sample anti-aliasing? Super sample anti-aliasing is made up of three words. Super sample anti-aliasing. If you want to understand what anti-aliasing is, please check out this video. So super means higher or better and sampling means to read the value. To read the value from a texture is generally a term used for sampling. Even in OpenGL, you will have a sampler 2D, right? That's why we are saying that sampling means to read, to read from a texture. Super sample is an anti-aliasing technique which uses a higher version of your texture. It's quite visible from the name, right? So let's try to understand what this actually is, right? So imagine the output screen that you have is 1080p, right? We are not going to render our scene at 1080p. We are going to render it at a higher resolution or a super resolution. Let's say once we render it at 4K, there comes a stage called downsampling. Downsampling basically takes this 4K render and converts it into a 1080p render. If you have a larger 4K image and if you have a 1080p image, now if you squeeze this 4K image to a 1080p image, uh, this 1080p image which is squeezed from the 4K image would obviously be crisper, right? Because it is downsampled from an image which had more information. Uh, that's why this 1080p render which is downsampled from a 4K render will look crisper. So the basic idea behind super sample anti-aliasing, you take a larger render of your frame, right? You render the frame at a higher resolution and you downsample it to a lower resolution. Now naturally, if you downsample a higher resolution image to a lower resolution image, the downsampled image would be crisper than an original lower resolution image. This would obviously get rid of the anti-aliasing artifacts. So this is it. This is the simple explanation behind SSA. Now let's try to understand what are the pros and cons of SSA. Pros. What are the pros? It's effective because you are downscaling a high resolution image. The output is crisper. Cons requires higher memory because you are rendering at a higher resolution. Also requires more compute. You might have heard about 2x SSA, 4x SSA, 16x SSA. What do these numbers mean? How larger is the image that you are downsampling from? So if it is a 2x SSA, you are essentially downsampling from an image that is 2x larger. Similarly, if it's 4x, you are downsampling from an image which is 4x larger. 16x large. So this was the summary of SSA. I hope you learned something new today. If you feel that these videos are teaching you something, please consider subscribing. And in the next video, we'll talk about FXAA, fast approximate anti-aliasing. Till then, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.